Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo. Lakad mo. Totoo. Then in the lane, he's probably not going to be caught by the Slark. Okay. First bullet coming through, FNG, going to get himself away from this one. Is he going to try and go for the slowdown, the turnaround here now as well? They force a kill coming through with the Curse of Avernus. He had the cold feet, it props Big the body blocks. blocks coming out onto Daniel. But Daniel with the Fairy Fire, he's going to be proccing that uh, curse now as well. In the trees, Malik, is there going to be enough damage to take him down? I that uh, his body does survive. Yeah, meanwhile on the top lane, no, there is going to be the Decrepit Fire coming up because the IO did show in the mid lane. She gets to, there's going to be the blast. And Sarish picks up the kill, so as soon as that IO rotates to the mid lane to help out his, his uh, mid laner Tor as well. Yeah, what happened there in the bottom is Malik faded out his ulti with the... Uh, oh, she uh, gets to... He's gonna go down. Down again. Okay, that's... Uh, that's really unfortunate. EP's lineup can be annoying, harass and stuff like that. And when you harass heroes that can kill you, you take away that uh, that ability from them. So British Pro, they played it really well. For that... Navi were punished, and now they're going to be punished again. Yeah, and this is what I was talking about when I, I see the Centaur with the Meteor Hammer. I want to see any just as the Slark hit six as well. So there's going to be a great timing on this Ice Blast, and we'll see here. Squadix, there is going to be the rotation up to the top lane. I mean, Shigetsu's taking a lot of damage anywhere now as well. Shigetsu in that Shadow Dance, but the Ice Blast comes through. Does he walk himself back into it? It doesn't connect this time. And now the Zip in, though. They're going to be able to get himself in there, Squadix. And yeah, with the Pulverize coming through, Primal Beast, they're going to be able to get the kill, and Squadix does claim it. But the Zeus rotates up here, Melody. Is this just going to be playing the be there. arms? Yeah, the Kofi, he has to go for the Heavenly Jump, but the God's Wrath comes through. They get the kill onto Notice and Kiritish as well. The Squadix, he should still be able to get the kill onto Melodule here. No. With this Overload, the regen coming through from Mardi, is it going to be a step He's too too deep. far? Squadix, that was, I mean, if he'd have just been able to land the ultimate on FNG, not put it on FNG, by the way, be able to pick it up now. Uh, maybe the Centaur, no, the Centaur's maybe potentially waiting in. You're thinking that might have been a trap with the Fortification. But he will be able to get the last hit. Meanwhile, on the top lane, the Ice Blast. This one's going to connect onto Mardi now as well. It's going to shatter onto Shigetsu. Shigetsu is dead, and Mardi soon to follow the trample damage. And Notice picks up the kill. So all of a sudden, you land your spells, you get yourself two quick picks, and Navi. When you need the BKB, it's like 15 minutes in, and you just can't have it. Yeah, there's going to be the jumping onto the Zeus here in the mid lane. Kiritich, the mana of the life drain comes through now as well. Meljul, can he get himself away from this one? Maladie with the regen, but it isn't going to be enough. And Squadix picks this one up. A low on mana, though. Do you want to try and turn around and fight this? Because the Nether Ward is down, and they've got the redrain coming through from Sayush. So it looks like Squadix, he's going to be good to go. As Sayush. Oh, uh, oh, Meteor Hammer comes through. FNG, though, point blank into the storm. FNG is going to be scouting through. That's a it good cost him his life. Yeah, but Malik, he's going to go down. And Kiritich, they might be able to chase for more as the Decrep comes out. But the Radiant Splinter's Burn will still be there. The Apotic Shield stolen by Daniel will pop. And now the Curse of Avernus comes through. Sarush, he gets himself a double. And they should be able to go back for this tier 1 tower in the mid lane as well. Yeah, seems like he uh, knew he was uh, he was going to be fine, and yeah. that does disperse Navi a little bit, allowing Squadix to hunt in the mid. Oh, Malik, he used, he, well, he was going for the stomp, it looked like now as well. He's going to be the drag pack, the Vortex Stampede will be used. Trying to get on top of the Pugna, Sarush is going to get low. Thunder Gods does come through now as well, but the Ice Blast is going to connect onto Maladie, and they might be able to turn this one. Bad though, he's already used the Borrowed Time. They still get two. Yeah, um... Just as well, going on to Kiritich when he has this Radiance up, you know, the Slark trying to come through. It, it's still, he's still going to be taking damage from that. There's still, excuse me, there's still the missed chance to come through. So Kiritich just with confidence to stand his ground. But Squadix, does he get to dive away? The stomp comes through. They might have the damage down with the Meteor Hammer. He's going to relocate in now as well. They get the kill onto Squadix. <laughs> Either way, though, they, they will get a tier 2. So Virtus Pro are getting big, uh, uh, big objectives. But without the storm, Navi will have the confidence to go forward. Yeah, uh, Kiritich. Again, that borrow time is up. FNG is going to show now as well. The stomp comes out. They're going to be able to get the kill, but not before he gets God, the ice blast off. off. With the drain onto Malik now as well. She gets who can he get himself away from this one? Use that shadow dance, that ice blast still taking on him. Tier threes. Malik's going to show the blink comes in now for Kiritich. The chase down stomp comes out. He's got that man style off though. Do they have enough to take down Malik? There's going to be the life drain through. And she gets who gets taken down on the back lines by Notice. They might even be able to get the kill. They will be able to get the kill onto Malady. And all of a sudden, BP, even with a split gun, it does pay off. A bad though. Does he go down? He will. He's going to be taken down. It cost him the life of the Pugna as well. So a support and a core uh, for a support and a core. Good. Might be able to get a quick pick onto somebody before she gets to a Maori can respond. So we'll see. Now the jump's going to be. Marginal. Yeah, they're going to be able to get themselves right on top. The pulverize with the BKB. He noticed they get the kill. And now the onslaught into the base as well. Daniel, the trample comes through. But it looks like there's going to be the TPs back from she gets to. She gets to. Do you want to try and go for the dive onto the Primal Beast? Primal Beast, Telkinesis will be there. And but that Ice Blast is going to connect. She gets to. He's not going to be able to sustain it. He'll still be able to get the kill. But 
Yeah, BP just backing themselves away as the buyback does come out from the Zeus. Oh. So as soon as he's got the gold, that will be coming out. And again, just a nice little timing here for the Abaddon. Uh, increasing the, the, the damage output as well as offering some protection, which noticed he might need here. The jump comes in. He doesn't use the BKB, though. And the Pulverizer gets cancelled off. Notice he's going to get really down low. Telekinesis, the Faulty Kill. This could be breaking. And notice will go down. And that is a That's big a mistake. mistake. Yeah, there's going to be the Stampede coming through now as well. Ice Blast used from FNG. The Lockdown. Did he get the kill? She gets who she gets to. He's used that BKB. Kiritich Borrow Time will be popped. Maladie now as well with that stolen. But there's going to be a cart coming through from the Centaur. Trying to get him in range. They've got these heroes really down low. But they can't finish off the kills. Maladie there as well with that regen. And it looks like VP. They've lost two. They're going to look for the disengage. But it's cancelled off by the Zeus. So, yeah, like I say, a bit of a mistake. And VP, they were still TPing into that fight as noticed went on the Rubik. And... They, it ended up costing them two heroes. Oh, now they might be able to get the kill onto Malik with the Nether Blast coming through as well as the Drain. But the Shadow Dance, the Death Shroud will be used. Malik, if he get the kill, Squadix has to dive himself away. The Ice Blast, she gets who's going to be out of range. And that Seven of them, but that means he has, still has 18 to work with for a very long time. Yeah, and we'll see Squadix will be able to get himself a regen in the back line. So the jump comes in and notice he tries to get himself in this. The overall comes through as well. A lot of damage onto the Rubik, but the Rubik, he still survives. The Glimmer Kick comes out of with the Borrowed Time. Do they go on to Shigetsu? Was the Ice Blast still going to be four seconds away here? The Zip Zap in from Squadix. He's looking to kill onto Daniel. Daniel's going to go down. And Squadix will be the one to claim that kill. He's dead for 96 seconds. Has a buyback if they can force it out here on the side of VP. Rubik, it will put an RV. Oh, they get the bash out. And Storm Spirit, it's going to go down. It's fine. Even, excuse me, even the Saudis are getting really down low. He get the kill on to Shigetsu. Shigetsu, he has no buyback. He has no buyback. And there's a Roshi up. The lanes are being put. Ooh. Squadix, though. I mean, he's waiting. He's got FNG to back him up as well. BP are trying to find a way to break the base. They understand the dangers and how hard it is to siege. Even now, 53 minutes into the game, their lineup does not siege. And Navi, they have a Zeus. So they're just going to try with the Zabadon illusions that, well, Malik easily deals with. FNG, there's going to dive in, though. The Vortex, the drag back now as well. She gets who's got the lockdown onto Squadix from Squadix. He has that BKB. He even has a notice. He's waking it. He's got that second BKB as well as the Pulverize. With this refresher shard, and it looks like Navi have to back themselves away. And again, while they've backed themselves, into this fight. Oh, the Thunder God's Wrath comes out. Curious if you want to make a jump. There is going to be a hitcher ride to come out here onto the IO. Did he take it? They do. They get the kill to Squadix, but can he get anything from this VP now as well? Maldi tries to get himself out. The refreshing notice. He wants to go in again. He's going to get the lockdown. No, he blinks himself away, so they don't get to kill to Daniel either. As Kiritich gets himself in. Melodule, he couldn't get himself on top of the cliff, and the bash comes through. Melodule not going to be able to get himself away from this one. Has that buyback available? <laughs> the Nimbus is a problem for the storm. Oh, they're gonna get a bonus, of course, from the uh, from the IO. How do you? I mean, Kuritic is still using the illusions to push out. You know, using that radiance to take down the creeps, and then his creeps push in. So the range racks is taking more damage, but. We'll see, FNG's gonna get jumped in. Malik was that a bait though? They're gonna be able to get the lift off on the FNG. FNG, can he survive this one? The decrep comes out, the four staffs will be there now as well. She gets to. He's already used the shadow dance. Has that depth shot still available? They get the kill onto Malady. Malady has that buyback if he needs it, but it looks like BP with this kill. Did he want to back themselves away? She gets to. He's affected by the ice blast now as well. FNG, he's done his job, but the buyback comes through from Malady. They want to try and relocate. She gets to. He's running out of mana, uses his BKB. Malady comes back in for the regen now as well. On the back lines of this fight, Notice is trying to do what he can. The hitch ride comes through now. Now, on to the Thunder God's Wrath gets used and noticed, picked up and killed off. But again, still missing two though for the side of Navi. I still think that the Timeless Relic for the Zeus is the best item for him. Mm -hmm. I don't see him getting anything else, but the X Machina on the Storm, that is a huge one. Yeah, and oh, the sense of the. The reload kick comes out, they got the Slark low. Slark, does he go down? He was shattered. He might still pop. But he has those Glimmer Capes. Not enough. Even two Glimmer Capes, they're not going to cut it. He's gone. Yeah, and they have the um, this window now as well where they can try and get the kill to Malik. Malik does get himself away from this one. They've taken down Malady. Oh, this is big. That was the relocate there as well. There's going to be notice coming through. Not only does he get the trample damage, he's going to have that giant swing damage now as well. The Aegis will pop here onto Kiritich, but... It's forced up a buyback from Shigetsu. Abaddon, could he walk himself away from this one? He might turn around with the bash as well into Shigetsu. He's looking to force this one out. Yeah, there's going to be jumping now as well. The Abyssal Blade Slark, he's going to be locked down. You get the kill onto Pugna. And Storm Spirit, he's not even here to help. I'm sure, but it's not sure that he's going to be getting there. So right now, it's yeah. better. 
A look at this, the smoke into the base here. They come through there, but Melju, it's going to be his aim that's being popped, still going to be dragged back into it. Ice Blast is going to can no! It's Telkinesis, it gets the Zeus out. Thrown in trouble. Enough. Yeah, Kirita, you just want to go straight for the Ancient now as well with his Aegis. The backline, Malix here, and there's going to be the jump in, the buyback comes through. Notice he's got that pull rush for eyes off now, so he gets to. He's trying to buy his teammates time, Malix can get really darn low. And the buyback from Squadix now as well, with Borrowed Time coming through from the Abandon. It looks like it's just going to be a man fight here. Front she gets to from Kiritich, as notice he gets and he interrupts the, the, the gentleman's dropping. duel. They've got the kill onto the Rubik now as well. Notice even themselves into the fountain, but the Hex comes out, the diving from the Stone Spirit, and the Ancient will pop finally after 72 minutes. Can we just go next? Uh, just call this one off. Just, you know, fresh draft. Did a little try to just, yeah. Dyer. This is where the lane becomes hard for uh, for Navi when the boards are level two. You uh, you just don't have the heroes to deal with that. Ooh, that should not have happened. No, well it did send these rotations and Mali he might be caught out. Can he get himself away? Tombstone's going to be dropped on the cliff here. The zombies there might be a bit of an uprising here, but the cookie comes through. Should still be able to get the kill onto Mali. Now well, they don't have the vision. It doesn't seem like so just going to walk themselves away from. Able to uh, force. VP into a mistake, and then with a couple of TPs, especially from the Zeus, you could make something happen. With that being uh, said, Zeus is level 6, so now we are going to be trying to find something. Yeah, look at this. So the bottom lane TP is going to be coming in from the Tinker now as well. Heritage does get low. The Thunder Guns Wrath, they get the kill. But there's an immediate return here. FNG takes down Malik. Um, FNG only level 3, so he's dead coming through. And they should be able to put the pressure onto the Thunder Guns Wrath coming out, though. Just looking, was that just. What was that for? Oh, Melodule goes down there as well. Squadix, the Heat Seeker missiles, it finds the Zeus, and yeah, they don't disjoint with a heavenly jump, so Zeus just goes down to, to the Tinker. He thought he had the, the Tinker, right? right? But the Tinker had maxed out once, and well, he overestimated his ability to do damage. Yeah, bottom lane is going to jump in now as well. Thunder Gods has already been used here, so Kiritich gets low, but Daniel, it looks like he's going to be the one to go down. Squad at least going to be. If you want to, the Axe is going to be close here. The smoke comes out. Mortar Kiss is going to be dropped onto Melodule. Melodule, can he get himself away? Because he is being tracked, but he's going to try and break. Well, not some ankles here. Kiritich, he still gets the TP in. Thunder God's Wrath comes out, but it's not going to be off the back line. So, yeah, they do get the kill into Squadix. And now Sarge, can he get himself away from this one? Has that cookie in a couple of seconds. So, the slowdown, but they have the vision of the cliff. They're going to be able to get the kill as well. So, they take down three. FNG, the smoke's going to come through here. FNG, though, is going to break it. She gets to that double damage rune will be wearing off. And FNG, did he get, actually get revealed? It does come through. He might be able to get the kill onto the Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter, though, slow. Son of God's Wrath. He does get the kill. Now the Roche is pretty darn low. But Navi, they might be able to push BP. In fact, they're going to be able to claim kills here as well. So they should be able to claim this Roshan after taking down three. Daniel is dying. He does go down yet. Notice gets the kill here. Squadix on top of the cliff. But she gets who's going to be able to leap himself up there. Oh, onto Notice. Notice. He was mid raw animation now. Yeah, Malik going to go for the dive in. He's going to be able to get the stun onto the Bounty Hunter. And Bounty Hunter, no way he survives through that. In fact, the, yeah, the damage was just overwhelming. And Navi doing a good job of, even if Mel Jules a little bit away from the team, they are sticking together as five. Like, it's, like you said, you know, VP don't want to take a 5 versus 5 fight, and Na'Vi, they're, they're trying to force it out and force VP in, into a bad position. I'm actually surprised that Notice wants the BKB over the blink. Yeah. You can see that VP cannot punish that one hero when he's alone, and that is because he doesn't have a blink, Tinker doesn't have a hex. You know, the, you are going to be needing those items at uh, at some point in this game, and the blink on the Beastmaster is the easiest one to get at this point. Yeah, Kiritich going to try and TP himself into this one now as well. Shigetsu trying to get himself away as these heat seeking missiles come through. They've got the jump onto the Bounty Hunter once again. Shigetsu, Kiritich has got his BKB, Squadix. Can he do the damage onto this? Daniel's going to get low goes down and now the roar no they have it on the undying but do they have the damage to get Malady down here it looks like he's gonna be able to get the TP away gives up that TP because uh, he would have been teaming into three or four heroes and yeah Navi looking so in control the roar Melody he gets that leap away once again Thunder God's Wrath comes out and there's the mass TP coming in from uh, from the side of Navi so you're gonna get low Melody gets the kill the rocket spam continues here from Squadix but you've got no one that wants to sit on the front line and soak the harass coming in through from the side of Navi and if they take one nice. loss even the pounce comes through. He's going to be able to get the kill onto the Beastmaster. Yeah, there's just no one that from the side of VP that can sit on the front lines and take this punishment. Okay, notice this dead vibe. What can VP do to, to stand a chance winning this in the second game? The plan remains the same. Split push, pick off. Split push, pick off. If you can't make that happen, you will lose.
Yeah, and it's so hard for them to do with uh, the Zeus with the global presence coming through. The roar on the back line, so they're going to be able to get the kill onto Rubik. Daniel will go down. Notice gets it, but Shigetsu takes down Squadix again. And now Shigetsu with the double damage rune. He's going to be able to get a chase down if he wants to. And it looks like it is going to be able to notice. Yeah, the Nimbus comes through, scouts him out. Shigetsu, he just needs those pounce charges back. And noticed he's looking to get himself in the trees and away. But Melodil with a constant scouting. Yeah, he can't get himself away. Melodil will pick up the kill. He has the Octarine core, so you would never allow him to move. And once the Slark got close, given that it's nighttime, it just sees him so easily. Yeah, and now even FNG goes down. I mean, you've got to expect VP. On paper, the players do seem to be a level ahead. So, you know, if it, if it forces... Oh, actually, no, the Tinker teeping in onto this. No way. Gets the blink away. The roar comes they out now as well. They break that Lincoln Sphere. Do they have the damage to get the kill? Onto she gets who she gets to. That's going to be Aegis. Can they do it twice? Heritage, Nimbus will be dropped. He's going to go for the BKB TP out. And it looks like, I mean, they pop the Aegis, but they're not able to do anything past that. And in fact, they might even lose FNG. FNG is going to be chased down. She down for Virtus Pro is what's crushing them. If the top tier 2 was down, that would have been huge for him. Well, there's going to be jumping onto Kiritich. Dragon's Hell comes <laughs> out. They've got the control. He couldn't get the BKB off. Uh, couldn't even get the Hex off there. Was just over-controlled. And now Kiritich dead for 69 seconds. That's going to be nice for the side of Navi, but he does have the buyback available. The Aghanim Scepter on the Dragonite does allow them to siege a little bit easier. Yeah, jump in, they get the stun onto FNG, the pounce comes through, they get the kill. And Na'Vi not letting VP get to this next comfortable part of the game here. Sieging right into the base. Lost away from the pit here, even Malik in this Black Dragon form. Melodule comes forward, tries to get some scouting out with the Lightning Bolt, but VP just playing it from a distance. Yeah, they have to take it easy. Jumping at the right point is very important for Virtus Pro, but Shigetsu is getting his ulties back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's there's no long range engage coming out. You're no more to case. It's nothing like that. The jump comes in. She gets. He wants to go into this one. The Nimbus has been dropped now as well. Kiritich, He's already used the BKB. It was 15 seconds on no cooldown. I'm not gonna be able to clean up here. Navi. They just want to pressure down and push down and chase down and find these kills. She gets to the pounce. Sayush, no way he gets himself with that four stuff on cooldown for the next three seconds. The stun comes in and Malik gets that another fire as well. So it will come out a little bit later on after the Bloodthorn, after the Basha and the Axe. But eventually it will be here for. The slark and yeah, great time. Notice he jumps in, but he jumps in a little bit too well. He gets he got the it. Ages. What? How? Okay, he gets it. It's BKB will work off. That's the Aegis pop, buying the, the time for the rest of the team to come back alive. But the ball fire will be down, and Notice is not going to be able to blink away from this one. Even the axe is being stolen by the Rubik. Okay. Uh, Staffed out of danger again. 3.3k health. All of that magic resistance. All of that survivability here. And Malik will just... He's going to shrug off the multi kisses and show VP what real fire looks like. They almost forced him to uh, use the cheese. So uh, I guess that's the extent of their power in this game. Yeah. FNG goes down. Melodil gets the kill here. And I wouldn't be surprised to see Navi again staking the claim on this last set of racks. And VP looking to call that GG sometime soon. Because really, what can you do against the Snobby lineup? Uh, well, that's... that's the other thing that they just make the game go for so long, even after it's over. They're going to be able to get the Dragon Tail stun here on to Notice. Notice going to get himself away. The cookie comes out. The chase continues to go through. Pops his BKB. It looks like Kiritich on the high ground here. Malik is going to be the next target. Going for that right click down here. And Kiritich going to be forced to pop the BKB. So back towards this bottom lane. They've already lost the range. And with Melee. Rax being so low, this Meteor Hammer, it might be enough to take down, but the fortification will be used. Thunder Gods, it comes through. They dive onto the back lines here. They get this, there's two heroes dead on the side of BP, and it might be more Squadix with his own BKB. The cookie to try and save his life. But this is it. Well, there you go. This is going to be the Tinker. An optimal Tinker here with these tier 4 towers being the last one standing. But the GG is going to be called, and BP, they just want to go next. <laughs> Yeah, VP are not happy after uh, after this. It's actually gonna crush every single one of these heroes. None of them survived the uh, the diffuser of mana now as well. And Squadix to be able to come up, start and put and harass onto the tier one. And the thing about the Riki is that he has high base regen, and yes. uh, then you get the Ring of Health and the regen from the tower, and suddenly you're just healing up way too much. Well, put Notice under a little bit of pressure here. Top lane, Tide, can he walk himself away? The cogs have come out, he's trying to. He's got the Ring of Health again, the three gauntlets, but he might do the damage. Is he going to be up here with the Bash Assault? And Maldi gets the kill. Yeah, just enough damage. Um, yeah. I was about to say, I don't know why the clock... Torrent, you've got the X mark as well. So Melodule, even with this, he gets his deny on the tower, so that's cute. 
But yeah, for the for, I mean, look, look at Squadix's net worth compared to the Rickies. It's uh, <laughs> it's a big difference. Sayush will die. At least Navi are starting to uh, get some kills on the top lane, but on the bottom lane, I don't I don't know who stops Kiritich from farming. All right, one more right click, and then the torrent. Daniel's gonna try and use these one charges. The torrent's gonna miss, but Squadix still gets the kill. That does way too much damage. Just uh, can't do anything about it. Melodule, he's scouting Notice, and Notice doesn't care. You know, even if he takes some of the creeps, it's really not that big of a deal. Yeah, level six on there as well. So Tide, he actually goes for the point in the gush. I'd be surprised if they if they bring more heroes here. I don't want to allow the streaky to get away with moves like this. No, and Squadix will be able to deep push for the lane. Do they actually want to go though? There's going to be the dive here from Melodule. Where's the rest of his teammates? Squadix going to get himself away. And the silence comes out, and the Undyne's going to try and get himself in with the Flash Golem. So the chase down now. Daniel going to get himself through as Sayush even rotates down. He's got that cookie. Didn't need to throw it out. Telekinesis was still available too. And they turn that gank around, the Broodmother in the trees. Do they have the vision? Do they have the scan? Well, these Spyland Squadix, he wants them. He's hunting, but he's not going to be able to find them. The second that the boat comes out is the second that the uh, fight is lost for you. But Squadix is going to get a Meteor Hammer again. They might be able to kill him this time. Yeah, well, the Telekinesis will be there. He gets himself no, out of the silence close. now as well. Squadix, he gets low. But do they have enough to save his life? The torrent connects. And yeah, great bait mate here from Squadix. VP of Fine and Farm everywhere. Yo. Okay, the sniper's gonna have a free lane here, TPing himself down towards the bottom lane now as well. Malik loses, loses so much health from that Tidebringer into the Fade Ball. Now the Telekinesis after the hookshot, Mali. And it looks like Malik can get himself away from this one. The Torrents are not gonna connect. The boat's already been used here, and a lot of damage onto Squadix, so Squadix might go down. Dead. They do get the kills at FNG now. Yeah, they take down two. But well, that's. That uh, item is actually, you know, a uh, difference between life and death. <laughs> yeah, we already see it pay off in the, the bottom lane once, right, with the Meteor Hammer coming through. Um, Kiritich, if he gets the last hit on this tower, I think if my mass is... No, my mass isn't correct. It's not going to be enough gold there. Um, but with this camp, as he blinks himself into the trees, they get the kill onto Malik to chase down Sayush, though. They get the kill onto Sayush, Mali... No. A Meljul, the hookshot comes in underneath the tier 1 here, does the Rubik survive as there is going to jump in, the Mana Void comes out now as well, that Bash Result going, and it looks like Kiritich did the tower shot do enough damage, but the blink in from Kiritich, it is going to be enough, and that will be, uh, even though he was pretty darn tanky, he just couldn't get himself out, and maybe, yeah, the, the worms turned a little bit here, as Squadix though, he wants to come through to the force staff come forward, Telkinesis, he might be able to get the kill on Tamali, and they're just covering him from all angles, to make sure he can't hook you out of that. Yeah, finally, they uh, they get a kill and they push Navi, the strongest of late game heroes. But in this game in particular, he outscales the sniper, he outscales the dude, and even the Ricky. If uh, I mean, he outscales the Ricky because he far farms so much faster. If it's a six slotted Ricky and a six slotted anti mage, Ricky will do fine, but he's not gonna get that amount of items. FNG could be caught out here. The slowdown, the multi kiss is gonna rain down here. Maybe Mel the Undyne, the hookshot as well. Onto the tide, the tide, the four staff comes out. Out, though, you get the stone to Melodio with the telekinesis. Notice, does he want to go? He's got that rabbit. Even Kiritis is going to be close. Do they want to try and go for this? It looks like uh, VP in full retreat mode here. And Navi looking for the chase down, the dust reveal as well. Kind of catch out onto the Kunker the Kunker. Trying his best. The cogs, it pushes him right back into the waiting arms of Malik. Yeah, even the boat flying through, but you've got your sniper plinking away on the back lines. And that's going to be the kill. Melodio gets himself. Yeah, oh, the ward, it sees anti mage now as well. There's going to be a double damage rune on this Ricky. And the cookie comes out trying to close the gap does he see him in the trees it looks like the spidey senses are tingling yeah Kiritich, he's gonna be no, no sorry she's not but he gives his life so that Kiritich can leave Kiritich, you gotta leave but even with the blinks away yeah he gets that tp out and will be able to find himself a nice little corner there to tp himself away to safety oh they want to fight now because they know that the ricky is not there but he is already starting to run so bp if you don't get this one fast then you won't your side is already dead Straight up. Yeah, three heroes take advantage. Um, but yeah, the anti mage is going straight for the BKB. He's going to skip over the Scardi, and it looks like he might want to get involved earlier than he thought in this game. He understands that there's going to be a Roche fight, and if he's not prepared there to live through the uh, smoke screen, he's not going to be of any use to his team. Yeah, Dice Gun comes out. They might be able to set up on the Kunkin now as well. Cookie, do they have the damage though? Squadix, he pops that beacon, he's trying to walk himself. There's gonna be a really nice tidal wave into the boat. No Melodule, it doesn't connect. The hookshot will. That's his, that was, it was his nine seconds. It doesn't matter, he's dead for 50 seconds anyway. Really good fight there from, from Navi, and all of a sudden, VP. What can they do? The Mortimer Kiss is starting to rain down. 
the Undying just explodes in Tidehunter. The, there's going to be the hook shot in from the Clockwork. Mortimer Kiss is rained down, so that's going to be the Ghost Scepter ineffective here. And he's going to be dead. Doesn't have a buyback again. Doesn't have the gold for it. 500 odd gold away. And now this is going to be Navi's Roshan to move into. But the double damage on she gets to now as well. Well, Squadix tries to break them. And tries to catch him out on the higher ground. But that's the boat thrown out here as well. It, it may be buying time here for the, for the respawn of the Tidehunter, but look at this, it's double damage and it is going to be about three quarters of the way through. More than enough time to get this kill into Roche. They're going in. They want to fight against the DD Sniper. The, yeah, the Tidehunter. Oh, Raiden, he, he gets got it. it! He gets the Aegis! And now there's going to be a great time to kill through as well. The back line, she gets you, he gets the jump, the Mana Void get, comes out. Kiritich, he's getting absolutely everything here in this game. The chase now, all of a sudden BP, they're going to lose some heroes, but is it going to be up for this fight to come through now as well? Malady with a hook shot in, in those cogs and FNG. He's going to get low, might go down here to Malik. It's going to be Daniel that picks up the kill. But Squadix can he get himself away even inside that Shadow Blade form that just comes out. It was a great engagement, but Navi respond in can. Now Kiritich, you need to leave. You have the mana for that blink away. I mean you have the Aegis, so you might try and fight into this first. Fight is here! Yeah, Ravage no comes damage. through, it connects, you've got the Anti-Mage coming right back in, Melodule's out of mana. Can he get out, the Cookie comes through, do they have the reveal now as well? The chase down, but no Melodule is away. Malik, he's trying to play around on this web as well, onto the high ground, do they have the vision to see him? He's gonna go for that TP onto the high ground, just get some soft like How does the... Never mind, uh... yeah, because it's not a spell in all fire, right? So it just dispels the, the counter spell. Yeah, man. Jump in. Kiritich on the back line is great Ravage. They might be able to get the kill onto the Ricky here now as well. He's going to be a bit of up. They do. And now he jumps himself onto the sniper now on the back line. Kiritich with BKB. It will wear off with the hook shot. Stolen by Cyrus. She get themselves again onto sniper. The Lincoln Sphere breaks. But he's been out. Gobbled up and spit out. But Kiritich still wants to go. Has to run himself away now. You already used that BKB. His man to style down again. But they lost Sarush for the Ricky. Good trade for BP. Unless they want to chase for even more. Malady, the tendrils come through. Cookie onto the clockwork. Clockwork slowly. Slowly just trying to wall his way away from danger here with Kiritich. He wants to continue chasing. But Roche is up. And you've got no Ricky for the next yeah, yeah, he can do it. With the Ravage, he can, but through the, uh, the Aegis, they're not going to be using that one. They got him Tidy close. Wave to jump in, but there's going to be the smoke down. Can they get another kill? The boat connects, and it looks like, did he pop this Aegis with the Tendrils of the Deep coming through? She gets to. Going to be dragged back, even with the Four Staff. And now the chase out. Daniel going to be out of mana, so he can't drop these Mortal Kisses. Now the Clarity and Mana Boots live with the Ravage. It connects on just three of them. They're going to be able to come right through this. She gets to. He pops that BKB. He's alive. They get the kill, though. Mm -hmm the damage onto the anti-mage he might go down he has to go for the counter spell blink out he gets himself he's just gone. Gone. no he still goes down he has that buyback available if he wants to pop it he has to pop it surely in this fight here this is gonna be the last chance for vp to defend the base and kiritich he's just holding this buyback can this he's team get back to the fountain a lot of great bait bait it's like because uh, nobody chased forward navi they're gonna stay composed they're looking to win this one yeah he has to buy back and now navi they've got it out there's gonna be the gush coming through onto daniel the tendrils it connects onto two malik though is he a little bit too far forward the wave's gonna pull him forward into the torrent and the fng trying to do with the counts and this might be the kill on the brood the boat connects and he will go down but it's gonna be jumping from melio melio gonna get himself away from this one daniel they might have overextended on the side of navi the torrent connects now as well and squadix he's on a double kill they'll be able to get the kill to melio now as well the hook shot was stolen by the the Rubik and Malady, he might be the next one to be chased down. Noticed is waiting. The tendrils, it connects onto the clockwork. The blinking from Kiritich, they've taken down four heroes. And Malik buys back foot for what? As the bottom lane is being pressured to play. If they want to win this one, just not commit. And that's what is happening. They're not committing to kills. They're just sending the blink fragments, the illusions, and heroes are dropping. Navi's heroes, other than their cores, especially, I mean, especially the supports, they just died. Clockwork oh, back is gone again. Oh, Kiritich. Mind games, mate jumps himself in. He dives himself in, has that Aegis now as well, but he's forcing everybody in the side of Navi back so he can look towards this tier three tower. It was a great idea. Is there still the refresher? There is still the refresher on the tide. So if he wants to go in once again, there's even gonna be a Wraith Pack being dropped as well on the, in the favor. So the Gush onto Malik. Is he gonna look for the re-engage? Look for that refresh. 
Well, most of the kisses are going to rain down now as well, but uh, Kiritich with the counter spell. They forced out the BKB for the sniper, the hookshot. It comes in deep, it connects Big onto one. three of them, but he is going to be hexed up here by Squadix. What can he do though? He might be able to pop this Aegis of the anti -mage. No, anti -mage. he still gets to blink away. One more, assassinate. Does he have the time to come through the counter spell? Aegis will be popped here, but they are over committing Navi. They are out of position. The second Ravage comes out just as the anti -mage comes back alive. No, and BKB now they get the gets to. He goes down. He's going to be forced to buy back out of this one. And it looks like they want to clean up the rest of his team. Daniel, does he get low? Does he go down? He does. And it's going to be both supports on the side of Navi. It might even be more than both supports on the side of Navi without Byrax here. Malik on top of the cliff. Shigetsu has to back himself away. Going in again. Yep, no more Battle Fury. Now it's time for a Bloodthorn. Mm -hmm. And if he gets that catch onto the Sniper, you know, you've got the shot the MKB. You have a full Bloodthorn to go onto him. You do have to break the Lincoln's Cogs. Goes through here onto FNG and dying. Is he out of position or is he just acting Big as a one. beast? He's the worm on the hook as the Ravage comes through. The double Ravage. They take down Shigetsu. They take down Melodule. They're going to be able to go for everybody. They're going to be able to go for the base here now. Daniel, the cookie comes out, doesn't save his life. And this looks like it's going to be how the cookie crumbles. For Navi, after three long, grueling matches here for survival, it doesn't pay off. And VP, they will crush their dreams, taking game number three out. 57 minutes and 55 seconds.